Heavens no! For hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian on the street... What are we going to do, Arthur? Nobody's having nightmares over that. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Nesta wonders what life's like outside the tube. Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. What 
whatever happened to you, Prudence? You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? in our work now that you mention it. Pinata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Smash it! Go on, smash it, silly face off! You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. No, Call no, security. No. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. Yeah, right. 
regular, wonderful, ordinary, spectacular day. But of course, we'll interrupt the day because well, we love to do that <laughs> with our daily recreational activity. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit today? down. Well, how about Simon Says? I love Simon Says, don't you? It's been too long since we've played it, hasn't it? Now, I'm a bit vague about the details. No, really. So, I think we ought to play it today, just to be sure. Well, you can never be too careful. So, at three. <laughs> Prudence really did run off. She ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who? going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I... I promise. But... but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Made your bed, Arthur, haven't you? First fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Thank you. 
bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. Parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. It'd be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. Nights, I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. Kids on the train. Maybe I should make some bandages just in case. A crib. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. When was the last time there was a baby in Wellington Wales? Like they couldn't remember their faces. Well, they couldn't stand remembering them. Beds. Oh, God. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off their joy out here. A toy tea set. Funny. Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. A toy tea set. Funny. Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything locked. Aha, but I remember how to make a lock pick.
A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? Well, to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? Rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Nice scent. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house? When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk. And the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have install most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Hard to believe people fast on purpose. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. I'll find a cleverer way in.
Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive? I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. So we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Original! Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. What? It's quite lethal. The other. We'll just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, so guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come with strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Drop his gun. Uh, 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 
rush out and leap into his guard. Three men. got a sinking feeling. Oh god, this shot. Oh god. Quite loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelling dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power st I suppose now I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. And Thomas's castle. Definitely don't want a crowd. And it's not your bleeding castle. No big
This won't take a minute. Nothing personal. <sighs> oh. Oh. This won't hurt a bit. <sighs> future now. I guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. everything I had when they jumped me. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes.
Sorry to bother. Just relax. Don't question it. This street was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Hello? Anyone out there? What the hell? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here! Over here! Do you want to get thrashed? God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous! Your funeral? Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death, you better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. 
Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! Have you been sleeping all right? It's best not to fight, if you can help it. Shove them away and just run as fast as you can. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to... a safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Oh, that's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. My suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a while. The Bobbies have a first on them, you know. Mum. Dad. I've come home. Well, don't you worry, dearie. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good lie today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mum when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15pm. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. Why do you take vanilla? You know it doesn't work for you. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. <laughs> Welcome to the bloody garden district. Are you all right? Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you.
At least we have our memories. Right. Watch out for the ones with plague. They look sick, but then they suddenly become wild bodies. <laughs> Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? I think I used to run the hundred bases. seen one of those in a while. I would like one of those, please. Bloody hell, I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. <laughs> 